Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Most of you guys know that I'm a truck person. I own a 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro. I use it every single day, to and from work and everywhere else, and I love trucks. And even though I was thinking of trading that in for the 2022 Toyota Tundra, after driving this thing for a week, I mean love with this 2021 Sierra with a V8 engine. It has a 5.3 liter V8 engine, which is a beautiful engine, a beautiful truck to drive. And even though there are many, many competitive full-size trucks, I have to admit, I am in love with this truck. The full-size truck market is perhaps one of the most fiercely competitive segment with Ford F-150 at the top of the game and with Dodge Ram not too far behind and the Chevy GMC twins that we have. And they are all very, very well done with different characteristics and different personality. But I am really loving the balance of the ride and the drive and the feel of this GMC Sierra to the point where I'm thinking uh, maybe the Tundra might have a difficult time catching up to the proven and the value-oriented domestic General Motors products. So let me walk you through what I love about this truck and things maybe I'm not too crazy about using my engineer's audit walk around. So I'll do exterior walk, I'll do the interior walk, and then tell you all the things I might like or not like about this GMC Sierra. So what I'm going to do now is engineer's audit, which is to examine the paint job, the panel fit, the alignment of the body panels and so forth, and then try to figure out whether this thing is built well and engineered well. So let me take a look at the outside first. In terms of paint job, the GMC Sierra and its twin, the Chevy version, both have actually a really good paint job. Now, you may not know, but I did used to work for General Motors at one point in their advanced engineering center and also dealt with their manufacturing back in the days. So I'm quite familiar with um, the General Motors approach to building and engineering trucks and cars. And to be honest, even though they don't get the, the, the credit they deserve, I actually think that they have a really good engineering expertise. And in terms of paint job, you can really tell because um, the paint is glossy, it's consistent. I do not see any blemish in any of the panels I looked at it. And and even though it's truck, which sometimes gets a bit of a compromise when it comes to paint job, this is as good as in high-end cars. So the paint job is excellent. What about the body panels? Well, you have to look at the way each of these panels come together and whether or not the gaps are consistent, aligned well, and you don't want a situation where the gaps are too wide. And of course, this is a plastic component. This is the metal piece. So this part works just fine. When you begin to look at the front fender, the hood, and the doors, I will give it a solid A, as good as the Toyota products I've seen. So if I compare this to my Tacoma or even the current 2021 Tundra, the panel fit and alignment is just as good. You might not believe me because it's a General Motors product. Honestly, they've done such a good job these days, it's really hard to tell the difference in terms of paint quality and body fit from something like this compared to a Toyota or Honda product. So let me keep on going here, and the alignment here is good. I'm looking at the stamping pieces, so if I kneel down and look through, uh, I can tell whether or not uh, the actual parts that were stamped were done well, and they are clear all the way through from front to back, and it looks fantastic. Even in the pickup bed area here, uh, the body is beautifully finished, and they have a really good design in the back here. Everything from the step, which is built in, something that we don't have even in the new 2022 Tundra, and they have a really good uh, multi-functional um, tailgate, which I'll talk about later on. But overall, in terms of practicality, GMC and Chevrolet actually really do well. So I'm happy with the exterior audit. I think the paint and alignment is all good. Uh, practically speaking, the bed section, uh, the front section, the side section all look uh, like they're well engineered and well designed. So let me walk you into the interior of the truck and see how they fare in terms of the engineer's audit. 
Okay, so let me talk about the interior now and do a quick audit. In terms of the functionality and practicality, the inside is well engineered and designed. Um, we have uh, lots of place to put stuff in. Consoles are well designed. Uh, the, even the um, glove compartment has dual dual locations and so forth. But I will say uh, this is the biggest criticism of the GMC and the Chevy full-size trucks is that the interior is outdated, uh, both in terms of the aesthetic side, but also in terms of the technology side. So for example, we only get an eight inch screen even in the higher upper models, and we don't have any kind of digital instrumentations in the cluster section. And the plastic components, while they are well made, and I can tell you by looking at it, that they are well put together with uh, minimal issues with the quality control, they just kind of look a little bit cheap to me. This has always been the weakness of uh, General Motors products. They're functional, but they don't look too good and they're plasticky. We have seen a preview of the 2022 Silverado with the design changes for the interior. So the exact same changes should be coming forth for the 2022 GMC Sierra with substantially improved interior, a much larger infotainment system, and even a digital cluster over here. So all that weaknesses that I see right now will be changing for 2022 model year. So I'm not too concerned about that for now. Uh, but in terms of the 21, yes, I do have a concern that the design and the plastic materials don't look very good but in terms of functionality and how everything are put together is solid well put together I did not hear uh, an ounce of a problem when I'm driving no rattles no squeaks and uh, it actually drove really nice so uh, no issues in terms of the over quality control uh, I'm just looking forward to the new changes they're going to have for the interior design changes now, even with the current 2021 design, the buttons, the switches, they're large, they're easy to easy to push, uh, and they're very tactile. So all that is good. Uh, the center console has lots of uh, places to store things, and it's very, very practical. But once again, it doesn't look very good. It just looks very disorganized in some way. But I can open this up to put larger items. And then this is actually a six-seater, so I can put the whole thing away and someone can actually sit in the middle. This is uh, often offered in domestic uh, Ford GM uh, Dodge trucks, but not offered anymore in the 2022 Tundra. Another reason that um, these guys will continue to sell more than Toyota because they just offer more options and more features. Now that we are on the road, let me talk about the driving character of this Sierra. I have been driving this for about a week now and the number one thing I love about the truck, of course, is the 5.3 liter V8 engine. It's got lots of torque, it's smooth, it's absolutely refined. And I guess I will say that there is no replacement for displacement. And even though the truck world is moving toward twin turbo v6 and other types of engines there's no question that there's something beautiful and amazing about the v8 engine and it's very noticeable when you drive this on both uh, lower speed and when you accelerate toward a higher speed it's got a really good um, steering effort it's very neutral it points straight and the engine is uh, what can i say it's beautiful to uh, drive with the transmission is smooth uh, there's no problem with uh, brakes uh, everything feels soft solid and feels very proven on this Sierra. The ride too, by the way, even though we still have a leaf spring in the back, you know what, the ride is actually quite uh, quite nice. It's very smooth and refined. Uh, the Bridgestone Alanza tires, which are often what's used in uh, sort of a street tires for trucks, provides a uh, very low uh, noise. Uh, it provides a smooth gliding kind of feel on the road. And so if you like sort of very comfortable, smooth, highly refined, road feel along with a good acceleration from V8 engine well you're going to absolutely love this truck and so far I've been enjoying it and I think that um, it's hard to beat this uh, ride and feel and in comparison to let's say Ford F-150 or Dodge Ram I actually think the overall driving feel of this GMC Sierra is better than those two.
Now, as I mentioned, I've been using this truck uh, every day for last week for a variety of different purposes. And I think I can understand the North Americans love affair with full size trucks. You sit nice and tall. You are um, feeling comfortable and secure. The ride is extraordinarily smooth. And it, overall, it's just a very comfortable place to spend time for both the driver and the passengers. So this kind of a feeling, I think is hard to get it from a smaller trucks or obviously from SUVs as well. And I think that explains the phenomenal increase in truck sales over the last several years. And um, I can totally understand why people might, uh, might really enjoy driving full-size trucks like this Sierra. Another advantage of buying a GMC or Chevrolet trucks, or for that matter, most of the American trucks, is you get so many choices in terms of configurations, the bed length, the engines, and so forth. So for example, you can get a diesel as well as a larger V8 engine. Um, so there are many choices that you can pick and that provides um, consumers and buyers with um, many different ways to choose from. And that's something that the Japanese counterparts such as Nissan and Toyota are not able to match. So another advantage for um, big full-size trucks from the domestic manufacturers, they just know how to play this market well and they know how to please the customers. Now before I conclude, I do have to talk about the tailgate, which is a miracle of engineering. This thing can open a couple of different ways, but the most important thing is that I can just uh, do this. And then there is even a handle that I can open up and I can go walk right up and um, go in and out of this uh, pickup bed easily. So that's really a good feature. It's a bit complicated, but it works. So what can I say about this 2021 GMC Sierra? Well, the interesting thing is that I'm actually in the market to buy a full-size truck. I'm planning to um, trade in my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro and buy the Tundra. But after driving this one for a week, I'm actually in love with the engine, the transmission, the ride, and just overall refinement and the steering feel. And I'm beginning to think that maybe this is the truck I should buy. And I can really see why North Americans just love full-size trucks like this. And even though Ford is the sales leader in this field, there are many things about the GMC trucks that I think is better than the Ford, including just a beautiful ride and hand the balance of the steering feel and the way the V8 engine works with this truck. So overall, I'm impressed. Would I buy this truck? I, absolutely, I would buy this truck. Would I buy this over the uh, new 2022 Tundra? That's yet to be seen, but I'm getting closer and closer to deciding whether or not I want something with a V8 engine, which I enjoyed a lot in this truck. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching again. I really appreciate you guys in my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm signing off for now.